Yeah, we are live. Yeah. Um, good evening to all. This is uh, Sivaraman, Director, Industry Institute Relations, EGS Pillai Group of Institutions, India. On behalf of the EGS Pillai Group of Institutions, I welcome all for the international webinar on Additive Manufacturing for Mass Customization Production. I would like to give a brief introduction about today's our distinguished guest, Professor Jia Chang Wang. Professor Jia Chang Wang is currently head the Department of Mechanical Engineering Institute of Mechatronic Engineering, National Taipei University of Technology. He is also Division Director of IBM Systems, Advanced Manufacturing for Mass Customization Production, National Taipei University of Technology. He did his Doctor of Philosophy from University of Liverpool, UK, Master of Science from University of Liverpool, UK, and Diploma National Taipei Institute of Technology. He is an advisor for XYZ Printing Incorporation Taiwan, Advanced Additive Manufacturing Incorporation Taiwan, McKay Memorial Hospital Taiwan. He got several grants worth more than a crore, and he has published books on Industrial 4.0 Additive Manufacturing Technology. He got patents for more than 10 technologies. With this short introduction, I request Professor J.C. Wang to start the webinar. Okay, thank hello you. everyone. Okay, thank you for attending this kind of conference and to listen my presentation. So I will start to share my screen to my PowerPoint to every one of you, okay? Okay, let's start with my presentation. The title of my presentation will be the Additive Manufacturing for Mass Customization Production. Okay, I'm Jia Chang Wang, and as what uh, Svalaman said, I'm the head of department right now, and uh, I'm also the, the, the deputy director of Additive Manufacturing Center in Taiwan, which was uh, supported by the Ministry of Education in Taiwan. Okay, and uh, here I am, that's Taipei. That's the very old picture of Taipei, almost a hundred years ago. And uh, this picture show where our university is. And uh, if you see where the, 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 the earth, okay, from the earth, where's Taiwan? That's on the right side. And where's India? It's on the left side. Taiwan is very, it's a small island here. And uh, that's Taiwan, okay, and uh, here, is Taiwan, and this is the north of Taiwan, that's the Taipei city in the center. And that's the, that's the Taipei city. And you, you will see that's the Taipei city here, and uh, it, at the center point here is our university. We are the heart of Taipei. And uh, there's a famous landmark of the sky tower of Taipei, that's the 101 building. And on the other side, this corner is our university, not too far from, from this famous building. And the, the, our university got very long history, and a hundred years ago, that's a top picture. Okay, that, that, that's the, the, the picture of the entrance of the university. And after 50 years later or 40 years before, and that's a, a, a new image of the entrance. And the, the, the button one with the current entries, the, the entry door of the university. So you will see the change time by time. And the, I'm from the mechanical engineering. 100 years ago, that will be the le top left picture was the machine shop to do the machining. And when I was a student on the right side, that's when I was a student, that's a machine shop. And nowadays, our machine shop is fully equipped with CNC machines. 
And even on the bottom side, we have robotics to do assembly. So our university got very long history. It's founded in 1912. And this year will be the 108th anniversary. This, uh, this university is the oldest engineering-based university in Taiwan. The alumni takes 10% of the CEO in Taiwan, and uh, 17 departments and uh, 27 graduate institutes. So I'm the head of mechanical department is only one of it. And uh, we also have uh, the mechatronics institute, okay? And uh, nowadays we have almost 500 professors, okay? And the students, we have one, one, uh, 12, 1,200 students. And we are in the QS ranking, okay? The QS have a top university ranking all over the world. And in, the, in terms of the subject uh, for mechanical engineering, we are the top 150 to 200. Okay, so for some famous story, for recent story, okay, only point out two of the recent story, the Peter Chai, he is the inventor of N95 face mask, and he is graduate from our university. And also the inventor of mobile one, the, the, uh, the kind of uh, polyethylene, kind of oil, okay, to help the, the engine works better. And it's also from our university. And the, some founders, some famous brand like Asus, okay, that for the notebook and the cell phone, and the HTC for the cell phone. And the Sanyang Motor, okay, SYM for the motorcycle, is on. and even a book, uh, bookshop. There are some very famous bookshop uh, in Asia. Okay, all these are the founder from our university. So we got very famous alumni in all over the world. And then today, okay, the QS top, top university ranking for 2021 just announced today that our university become 488 of the world. Okay, so we keep climbing up, okay. And in terms of subject, for the material science, we are very good in 101 to 150. And then in the in uh, Asia University, we are the number 95. Okay. And uh, as you can see, the trends changed in the pictures. Okay. That's the ranking we keep climbing up. It's the same as our publication, it getting up and up. So that's the differences. The reason why it's up only for recent years, because our university was the vocational uh, school to teach for technicians. And then we turn into us uh, like a polytech and turn into a university. And uh, that's how it the uh, story starts. So we pump up the academic contribution for all over the world, not only for technology itself. And for, for the subject of mechanical engineering, you can see we are keep up. It. So 2018, we are 219, and now we are 151. So let's start with my really formal presentation for additive manufacturing for mass customization production. So first of all, we are talking about additive manufacturing. We are talking about production. What will be the differences between manufacturing and the production? From my knowledge, is manufacturing is the way to make something. It's a process. It's a, a kind of machine to do something. And the production is to put our machines together to complete a kind of production line to make object continuously. A continuously means we can make one part after the other, one object after the other. We can continue produce something that's production. So manufacturing and production are different with different definition. Then additive manufacturing and the production looks like different, especially when we are talking about the manufacturing, we are talking about the ability to build up something. But when we talk about production, 
we are talking about how can we continue to produce something. So this different concept. In the very beginning, when we talk about additive manufacturing, we are talking about the ability to using this technology to make something. But it's not economic at all because the cost is very high. But so there's no one using additive manufacturing to do production. Will that be in the future or not? So let's see, uh, along with the movement of manufacturing and production in the world. In the old time, or possibly 10 years ago, we are talking about the production. And at that time, we are talking about labor intensive. And now we are talking automation. We try to use automation to take place of the labor. And before we are talking about mass production, now we want everything different. So we are talking about customization. And before we are trying to find somewhere cheaper to make something. So we are talking about globalization. But now we, so many people lost jobs. Therefore, we are talking about localization, try to do the job locally. And before we have a stock based production, we make a lot of parts put in the stock, waiting for the buyer to buy out. So therefore, we start with e-commerce. So everyone can make all the online. But now we are talking about online or two offline. Some, some process we need to do online, some process we have to do offline to have uh, the, the user uh, service or kind of experience kind of things. And before we need engineer or professional to do a very good design, perfect design. Nowadays, we are talking about AI, artificial intelligence to help us to do some design. So you will see the change. And this change, we are talking about where is the job? Where is the market? Where you make things? So before the jobs is in, in somewhere cheaper, the market is somewhere we can pay the money. And the manufacturing is the technology itself. So it's, there's no need to be in somewhere. Depends on where is the necessary to adopt the technology. So in the old time, we are talking about the economics. And this economics is talking about the cost. We are trying to make parts in somewhere cheaper. But now we are talking about substantial, uh, the green, uh, green technology related subject. We are talking about the carbon trace or whatever, try to minimize the pollution or something. And especially recently, there are some very advanced countries like America. They are talking about uh, make in America, American makes. And in Germany, they're talking about industrial tech uh, uh, for for uh, for uh, industrial for Ponzello. And for Japan, for China, they are all want to bring the jobs inside their country. So the story starts to change. Before the jobs is not in their country, or perhaps only in China. But for those countries like America, they are facing problems because they, all the engineers, they don't have enough job to do. So they are trying to bring the jobs back to the, their country to overcome the social problem. So if we are thinking about the movement of the manufacturing and production, it's not only for the manufacturing and production, it's also for politics reason. Okay. Therefore, we are looking for the evolu evolution of it. So in the old time, in, in the start of 20th century, okay, we are talking about mass production. We are trying to use the assembly line for the very low cost mass production, try to make product very cheap. But later on, we are talking about every skill, we want something different. So therefore, the production line cannot continue to produce so many. So we need to change the production line. So it is become the batch production. We only produce a batch of products. But later on, if the batch becomes smaller, we need to change the batch more often and faster 
Then we provide a feasible manufacturing system to overcome the problem of changing pages. And in 1990s, by the help of a computer, we started to use the computer to help the computer edit manufacturing, computer integrate manufacturing. A lot of things is integrated together. And in in 2010, we are promoting Industrial 4.0. Built by Industrial 4.0, and we are talking about the whole the uh, com, uh, kind of uh, manufacturing factory uh, with the robotics to do everything together. There's no need for uh, uh, there's, there's, even with, we can turn off the light to do the manufacturing. So this kind of manufacturing is a different concept. We are trying to make everything uh, with, with continuously and as long as we have power, then product will continue to come out. But where is the need for the, of the market? When the market needs something, then if we can send order to the factory, then we are really able to change the production line to produce what you want. That's a, another story. That's why we need industrial 4.0, that's like the car industry. This car industry, we can, in, in, in a production line, we can easily to change different model of the car. That's industrial 4.0. But that's not enough. If we are looking for something for pers more personally, that we need design something for this person. For example, the seat of the car. If you want to have a better seat, which fit your size, your your posture size or your body size, the the seat is supposed to be different for everyone. Can we do customize of the seat? So therefore, what we believe in start from two thousand twenty, we are going to another another period of the industry that we call customized and mass production. Customized and mass production looks like so much different. How can we put them together? That will be the story. So in the past, we are talking about large scale production. So we are talking about thousands or millions of the same product. So therefore, we need to be a kind of standardization to make everything standardized so we can change the components easily. Okay, we can repair the same object. Then we have to do a continu continuous production. Therefore, we can have very low cost of the products. But now we are applying the robotics to help the automation. We are using the cloud technology to collect our necessary data and to do some analysis. And we are concentration of production to make a to, to spend so much money in a production line. Therefore, this production line cannot move to somewhere else. You have to make something here. So that's that's what we are doing right now. But in the future, we are talking about something more personalized, more customized, and we are trying to put some intelligence into the system. Okay, so before was all, all overproduced because of a lot of products which are not well fit to the customer and you make the products. Therefore, this product will stay in the stock market or will, be, will just stay in the stocks, waiting for someone to buy. If there's no one to buy, it's a, it will become a kind of waste. And then now we are using the automation and they're trying to more fit to the market, only make something when the order comes. But this this object is already designed, it's already been in a process. So we just keep doing the process to make a new part to sell. So therefore, we don't have this kind of overproduced products. But in the future, we are trying to make something right for you, rather than we have a list of products which one you want. So then we, we will produce something only when you order and we can design for you and make something for you. 
So one of the example that will be the shoe market. But for additive manufacturing, in the past, we are using this technology to make prototypes. These prototypes looks like a very good shoe, but you cannot wear it because the function is not right. It's only talking about the fashion of the shoe. But currently, we have the ability to make a shoe in ad by additive manufacturing with the right function. So you can wear it to run, but the cost is still very expensive. And in the future, we are trying to do the similar things, but this shoe is supposed to design for you, design for every individual needs. That means this will be a customized shoe. But this customized shoe, if we can continue to print for different user, then as long as it's continue produce, then it will be the mass production. So the objective of additive manufacturing is we'll bring the digital value into product value. What will be the digital value is your design. Nowadays, everyone design in digitally. So your, your design, your K design, whatever, your solid model is in the computer. We are using additive manufacturing to make what you design into some of the product. And this product is capable to be used for in every individual needs. If this design, nowadays we are talking about parametric design, so we just change some few parameters, then your design will be changed. So if I know what to change for different user or different customer need different design, then we, I just change the parameter, then I got a new design. We can check. We can change the design very easy, very fast. Then we can use the additive manufacturing to make everything different and continuously. That will be the product. So once we have this kind of this kind of concept, we are talking about the application. And this application is supposed to with a good design and a well fit to customer. And, that, and that if we adapt additive manufacturing to this application, we will make the ability to make something possible. And this something possible will become a kind of ecosystem to survive in the market. And in Taipei and in our university, we are developing our manufacturing solutions, which include the material, the system, the additive manufacturing system, our own process, quality control, and even business models. So that's some, that's some of the technology and application we are doing, okay? The left side is the additive manufacturing related subject. We have wet photopolymerization, we have bandage jetting, we have material extrusion, we have powder bay fusing. All this technology we are working on in our center. and. The, Every one of them, we have so many different systems. Every year, I uh, possibly have four or five new systems into the market. So we keep developing some system, some additive manufacturing system, which will overcome some process limitation by conventional cannot do, but we can do it. So we keep doing for the technology improvement. And we are make we are finding some target for the application, so like the insole, midsole of the shoe, like some creative industry, some kind of some kind of partial or design or dental model, then uh, a lot of different kind of application we are talking about. So let's go from the front light. That's one of the one of the example we are talking about this uh, kind of solution for customized insoles. So we have a measuring system. So we develop this measuring system and the uh, customer just stand on the system. It will start to do the measuring and automatically come out with, with, the, uh, with uh, what, what will be fit to your shoe. And then we can do AR, okay, not only VR and also AR to simulate if the shoe is on your foot. And uh, we also, based on this technology, and we, after the scanning, after the monitoring of the foot, okay, we can come out with some design result. 
we just stand on the machine, it will do the scanning, and the scanning will come out with a lot of de uh, design data, and then you can use in your cell phone to scan the QR code to have the record. And you can see the report in your cell phone. And if you want to make order of your own insult, you can send this kind of QR code to, to the, to the seller. And this, the sales will scan your QR code and really make, send to the machine to print. So that's the process. Then, then the 3D printer will print the insult in a real time. Let's go a little bit faster. Okay. So that in this system, we'll do automatic design of the insult. And after this automatic design, we will send to 3D printer. And this 3D printer will print with a, a kind we call the latest structure or inside the, the skeleton structure of the insult to control the stiffness in different portion of the insult, which we call a kind of meta material design. After the design, we can scan and we can send it back and tell the customer to come back to pick it up. So that's the process. That's for the insult. We also working on the missile. This, as you see, the insole technology with the, for the three D printing, we are using material extrusion of TPU material. And for the missile technology, as yes, you see from the picture, this is the missile. We are developing our own selective laser sintering machine to do it. So we have our own design, skeleton design for the missile. And we have a kind of a system to make the something possible. So this, this one is also using the TPU material, but in the terms of powder. And this powder using SLS process to make it. And also for prosthetics and orthotics. And this kind for, for the right picture, as you see, for to support your spine, we have a special support. Okay, this spot with the latest structure is our own design structure again, which will allow the air go through. Therefore, when especially like in Taiwan, especially in the summer, the temperature was so hot and accumulate. If you wear something solid, it's not so comfortable. But if with this hollow design, with skeleton design, you can wear it with no problem. Okay, that's a kind of, uh, of structural design. Based on this structural design, we de develop the whole system and our own 3D printing machine. As you can see on the left side, that's their manufacturing site. They are eight machines working 24 hours a day, every day, try to print this one out to sell. Now, uh, currently they sell this kind of support uh, or spine support for about four days a day. And for the tools, for the, the clone of the tools, okay. And uh, we are developing a Zikonia ceramic dental machine. And this machine is our special machine to do ceramic object by 3D printing. And as you can see, that that's the result. Okay, we, we have a tooth model, we have the tools, all made by 3D printer. And uh, for this one, we are making the dental model. And uh, this dental model, as yes, you can see, your your model can print in 30 minutes. So very fast printing speed. Okay. And uh, that's the technology we are talking about for the for the cloud. That's the same technology. It's very fine dear art model by ceramic. And this high performance ceramic additive manufacturing system. We are already transformed to flex. It's a very famous uh, 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 kind of cultural uh, company. Okay, you can check from the internet flex. They sell something in ceramic objects, very high cost. It is a kind of art design, and they are using my technology to make their own parts. And nowadays, we are talking about COVID 19. And the, there are so many universities, they are using their own additive manufacturing machine or systems 
like a FDN machine or whatever to make the face mask. But in fact, it's not really a face mask. Face mask is supposed to be a transparent film to, to protect your face by the mouth water. Okay, and this one is only the space. Okay, we need a spacer to make sure that the transpa uh, tra uh, transparent film will not touch your face. Okay, therefore, that's what they are printing. But in fact, what will be important will be the transparent film. So face shield may not necessarily to be 3D printed. By 3D printing, as you, if you know 3D printing, if you have experience printing something, you know it takes a long time to complete one of the objects. So it's not economic at all. But there's a one major advantage is to meet the market. When the market needs something, there's no time for you. So you can use 3D printer to print immediately. If you make order and wait for the order come in, we don't know how long will that take. But if you got a 3D printer, you can make a design and print, print by yourself. And the next day, you can deliver one object. But what I say is only one object. But you, if you are talking about hundreds, I believe additive manufacturing or 3D printing is not a very good solution so far. Especially for this story, I don't think that face mask is so much necessary to use 3D printer to print. There's no, no use at all, at least to me. It's only become a very good story, say, okay, we can help. But for, the, for example, this one, they do a very good design because the key of the face shield is the transparent film. So you need transparent film greater than you need 3D printer. Therefore, they use the transparent film to do the spacer, but it's, it's all. Okay, as long you, as you have a uh, transparent film, you can make your face shared. I believe this one is the right solution to do greater than using 3D printer. So 3D printer may not always be the right story to do. But this one, I believe, will be very good one. This one is latest, uh, like a kind of latest swap. When we do some testing to get some sample from your nose, we need this kind of swap. But conventionally, the swap is not so easy to collect the necessary material from your nose. But this latest design will help. And this dated design means that it's so complicated, conventional cannot make. Therefore, 3D printing can help. And because this object is so small, therefore, a 3D printer can print a lot in one time. For example, like this one, I believe there are at least 400 swap in one time. So it's a kind of production. And, and we can say it's a kind of food mass production okay because in one go it can print 400 swap by injection it takes also takes some time okay so therefore it's a kind of advantage to 3d printing so and then we are talking about the technology we have developed by the additive manufacturing center okay like this one that's what we we did long 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 time ago possibly 20 years ago, at that time we, we are capable to make very tiny object like this turbine. This turbine is about one, uh, 1 1.5 millimeter diameter. But then I don't know where to use. And then this one will be the high precision part of system. We can, that's what you see, like we can create the, the, the dental model in 30 minutes and that's the model we can print by the AI system and we also develop a kind of we call IoT Internet of Things but instead of things we say Internet of Additive Manufacturing
Oh, because of the time, I will speed up. Okay, I just go through. Okay, and that's the process. That our own machine. Okay, we can print. Uh, we have our own web interface to control the machine. So everything can be controlled internet. Okay, so your ma the machine can be in America, and then we can print objects from Taiwan. So that's the idea. So the internet, we can control all parameters during the process as well. Okay, that's that's the result. And also, we are talking about continuously printing. This is one of the demo uh, uh, system. So you, as you can see, we can print one object and the second object continuously with no stop. As you can see here, the first one is a form. It's a form, okay? And the second one is a dog. And the, the third one is the lion, okay? The, the fourth one is a rabbit. We can print everything different continuously. Okay, that's the process. And we also do something very big and uh, something very small, uh, that's something big one as well. And uh, that's the ceramic one is something very small, very detailed. That's the process of our system. So we can keep printing, that's the printing. Then after printing, we can take the object out. Okay, so that's the process. So we can print a lot of laws in one time. And to do the centering afterwards, they become the final parts. So that's, that's the result we have. Okay, we can print something very detailed. For our process, we don't need to build up support structures. So that we can make something other cannot make. And so it's very, it's very simple technology to make the ceramic dental. And that's for bandage jetting. Uh, we have two machines in which the, the technology is from our university, from me. Okay. And uh, a type Delta system and a pancake machine. And ceramic machine, okay, is doing a vest. It's printing. Okay, that's the process. So we develop a lot of different, a lot of systems. Like this one is also a system to make a support. Okay. And uh, we have a hybrid system, subtractive and additive all in one. It's subtractive first. Then we put additive later on. So after subtractive, well, then we add silicon uh, on the top, layer by layer. So the printing is not on a plane, it's on a 3D surface. So that's the result. We can make uh, silicon object. And also for, for bio issue, for the biomaterial, okay, that's spatial machine. And for uh, this one is the same as for the missile. Okay, that's one of the example. That's how we can make the missile. Let's do the printing layer by layer. At the end, okay, that's the printing. That's printing. And at, at the end, that's the part we are we print out and we take in some supporting powder out to have our insole reminded. So that's the process. We have uh, this this system is made by students. Okay, that, that's what we have. And that's a new system. We, we right now we are making the fourth generation of the system. And let's just scan it. Okay. So because of the time, so the, the, the previous videos, I, I try, try to make it very fast. The conclusion of my talk will be the ability of editing manufacturer is to meet the urgent needs of the market. What is the urgent need? Like the COVID-19, we need something, but we cannot have that immediately. Therefore, we can use 3D printer to create. That's a kind of urgent need. So, and the others, well, we are looking for something cheaper. And for those something cheaper, it's a kind of long-term, continual market. 
So that's two different things. And how can we combine them together? If it is urgent at the long term, urgent at the long term, that means we believe that customization of products will be continued. Your everyone need different objects, need something different, so that will be continued the needs. And when I need something, I need that immediate, as soon as possible. That's also a kind of urgent needs. So, uh, customization will be the key. Uh, attractive story and the well-developed solution, so that we are talking about solution, will be possible to trigger the new market. So in our center in Taipei Tech, we are very strong in design the software, firmware, hardware, and the dedicated system, and we are able to provide a solution for the future market. Okay, that's my talk. Okay. Okay. So, uh, thank you, uh, Professor. And uh, I request uh, uh, the participants to raise your questions in two modes. One by using the chat mode and another is if you want to speak, you can use the hand raise mode, which is available on the right hand side of your screen. Yeah, I saw that and, uh, a lot of questions there. I don't know how to answer it. It's yes. too much. <laughs> too much. So uh, I, I may ask uh, a few questions uh, which raised, uh, which comes through uh, chat mode during a presentation. So uh, one is from uh, Surya Narayan. He's from India. What is the material used for printing of insole? For the insole is a TPU. It's, uh, for the insole is filament. Okay, that's the why. Okay, that's a filament. And the material is TPU. Okay. Uh, one more question uh, from uh, Dr. Pradeep Kumar. Material used for face shield. Face shield. So face shield, no, no, it's not. It's only for the space yeah. of the face shield. So that's the, the POA. That's no more, no more phenomenon. That's where all, that works. No, it's no problem. Okay. And one more question from uh, Mr. Baburaj. Material used for medical lattice swab. Oh, that, that's a kind of racing. That's a kind of racing, and that will be medical approved racing. Okay, because this that process is by wet photopolymerization. It's a kind of photopolymer. So, one more question from uh, from Raja. It's the uh, size of uh, medical lattice swab. What is the size of medical lattice swab? Medical swab. Medical swab. Size. You mean the swab? It's very small. It's try to put into your nose. That's a very small one. <laughs> so because it's small, so we can put it up together. <laughs> so uh, one one common question from uh, a participant uh, by name uh, Pagoti Ram Vikas: How can we use AM? In COVID nineteen, uh, the two manufacturing okay. COVID nineteen. That will be a very difficult story to me. Okay, why use AM? In many of the cases you see from the reporter, ethic manufacturing is helping, but to me, most of the most of the example is not necessary to use three D printing at all. Using three D printing may not be the best choice. Okay, but in some of the case, we need something in urgent, and the, the 3D printer is what we have, then we can use it. Okay, but if we are talking about we need a lot of them by additive manufacturing, I don't think that's a possible or good story at all. If we need one object in a hurry, okay, for, for example, we are talking about the connector. 
for the voice to help you to to work to voice better. Or we need a special machine, but this special machine is so expensive. So one of the solution is we use one machine to take care two patient at the same time. So we are using a special adapter to make the valve to share to others. And this special adapter was designed, and there's no not good, not commercial available adapter. Therefore, we can use 3D printer to print fuel for the emergency use. That's it for emergency use. Very few of them. So, uh, one more question from uh, Mr. Surya Narayan Maharana and Tamil Mani. The question is software used for design of insole. Okay, we design the software by ourselves. That's the key. Because we do the measuring by ourselves, we try to find the necessary information of the foot. And according to that, that kind of information, for example, the length, the width, the arch index of, of your, your planter, okay, there are some information we can collect from the measuring machine. According to that, we can do a kind of parametric design. A lifetime design is already there. We just change the parameter, parameters, then we have a new insult. So we will automatically changing the parameter and get the insult. And this insult next will be the latest design of the internal structure to control the stiffness of the insult. So we have our own pulling part generator. Okay, that's how the 3D printing is true. We are controlling it by ourselves. So we, even you got the same model, but you cannot print the right stiffness as what we did because we control the tooling parts as well. It's not only for the design, but also combined with the CAM, computer edit manufacturing. So we have our own CAD and the CAN software to do it. So that's the solution. Okay, looks like the internet. Someone is late. <laughs> maybe me, maybe not me. <laughs> so, uh, more questions. More questions are coming uh, due to time. Uh, we have to restrict ourselves, and this may be the uh, how, we can, how we can apply this technology to LX. This is a question from Dr. B. Parmanabhan. Uh, looks like the internet got some problem. Application of AM in nano. LX. So is is everyone online? For. So any question? On uh, application of additive manufacturing for electronics. For electronics, electronics manufacturing. Uh, right now, you, you can hardly find it for electronics. Yes, oh, OK. And uh, yes, this can you hear me? it is possible. But right now, uh, there, there are some research working on that, but still waiting for the solution. Is that an internet problem? Hello? 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 Uh, yeah. Yeah, you, you Can are. Can you there. hear me? Yes, no problem, yeah. Okay. 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 So, uh, uh, very uh, thank you, Professor, for uh, all the questions. Uh, most of the questions you answered, and some of the questions can be answered through offline mode. Okay. So, with this, uh, I would like to conclude uh, by giving a short.
uh, comment about your presentation. So you have thoughts from basic uh, one based disciplinary lithography, and uh, particularly you have also covered AM hybrid system and dual SLS system. Some of the systems are developed by your students also, you told. So it was a very as you say, he's just reviewing whatever you saw. So uh, the session was uh, highly informative and more knowledge shared to the participants. I take this opportunity to thank uh, the chairman, secretary, CEO, principal, directors, dean, HODs, R&D department, faculty members of various departments of ETS Pillai Engineering College for their cooperation and support. In particular, I thank Professor Jia Chang Wang, Professor Han, uh, Professor and Head, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Institute of Mechanic Mechatronic Engineering, National Taipei University of Technology for taking time to give this presentation during this COVID pandemic. We wholeheartedly thank you, sir, for your time. Okay, thank you as well. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, thank you very much for your uh, presentation. So, uh, with this, uh, I'm just uh, informing the participants. Uh, for active participants, we will provide you the certificate of participation. Uh, please uh, email, or we will send uh, email uh, feedback to you please fill and get the certificates so uh, thank you very much uh, once again professor uh, thank you okay. now i am closing the room yeah. okay thank you very thank much you. thank you for everyone close now hmm. hello hello Hello.
I'll update the participants. Thank you. 
அதேதான் நல்லாதான் கனெக்ட் ஆகுது திடீர்னு இது மாதிரி ஆகிடுது இல்ல இந்த போட்டிங்களா வீட்டுக்கா சரிங்க வெட்டி இது வெடிச்சு தள்ளுமா ஆமா ஆமா எவ்வளவு மாசம் அது ஓ டாப் அப் பண்ணிக்கலாமா எந்த கம்பெனி ரயில் ஒயரா ஆ சரி 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 ஆ போட்டுருவோம் போட்டுருவோம் என்ன உங்க உங்க வீட்டு இன்ஸ்ட்ருமெண்ட் எடுத்துட்டு வந்துட வேண்டியதான் ஓகே ஓகே 